Thank you so much. I am here with Hugh Groman of Groman Catering. Thanks for being back with us. Happy to be here. And holidays are a huge time. I'm a big, I'm a big home cook. My skills as an entertainer, however, are lacking because they really are two different things. I doubt that. Well, no, they are. They are because I find myself stuck in the kitchen while everyone else is having fun elsewhere. Yes. And so tell me about a, 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 a cocktail that can serve many, but I'm not making individual drinks. Okay, great. This is a delicious, easy cocktail. Delicious, easy, and uh, impressive. And it's just one part bourbon, okay. two parts apple cider, and uh, a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Okay. And then you just serve it on the rocks. Can I squeeze or yeah, do you want to? Yeah, go for it. Make, make two because we both have to drink. Do, okay, we do. we do. Do I squeeze here or do yeah, I squeeze here? There. Squeeze here, okay. Because I already put the lemon juice in the pitcher. Okay. Here, and then we'll just and throw we'll, it in. Okay. It'll be pretty. Oh, okay. And then um, uh, my uh, Anne, who works with me, made this recipe up, and we've been serving it all season, and it is so good. So you don't put any extra spice in there? Is well, that the, the cider bourbon? has this kind of spiced okay. feeling to it already. cheers to the yeah. holidays? Cheers. All right, let me. Mm. Now I'm going to show you a oh, couple. Oh, it's kind of warm yeah. and it has a spice. With a little handful of almonds or something. Yeah. Very nice. So now let's talk more about the food um, because food is also where I get tripped up. I want everything to be hot and fresh right out of the oven, but I also don't want to be working my own party. Yeah. These are easy hors d'oeuvres you can make ahead. Okay. I like this one. Uh, it's endive with Humboldt fog cheese, honey, and toasted almonds with a little churvel garnish. So it's super easy. You just put the Humboldt fog on the uh, endive leaf, mm -hmm. a little bit of toasted almonds, and this churvel garnish. So there's a few different and it's textures. So easy. There's yeah. a little sweet and salty thing Absolutely. happening. Absolutely. You say and en en endive or endive? Which one is well, it? Well, I say endive. Okay. I think it's. I think you can choose. Okay. You want to. But I think endive fancy. is like uh, or, less pretentious. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Okay. Now for something a little bit more substantial yeah. um, that goes, you know, way beyond those, you know, gloppy dips that we see on every table. This is a very pretty presentation. It's important that this is one quick bite. Uh, yes, yes, especially at fancy parties, people don't want to be embarrassed by having something that falls apart in their face. Um, I like the endive because it's gluten-free, and then this is like a nice hearty, starchy, yes. meaty thing. Yes. So we just take these little baguettes, we slice them up, we put some olive oil on, we toast this until it's lightly golden. You see here, these are nice and golden. And then we just top them with this tarragon mustard sauce, mm -hmm. which is just a, a mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, and fresh tarragon. Got it. And then uh, we have a little slice of uh, New York steak. Yum, I love a good and New York baby strip. arugula. Very good. Give me those little tiny baby pieces here, here and then you can tell me, do you have any good overall tips on people who are trying to throw a holiday party for which they're not, you know, working themselves? Right, right, right. So, uh, you know, keep your menu simple. Mm -hmm. Uh, that mm -hmm. means, you know, three or four items. If you want to have an hors d'oeuvre party, you could just have three or four hors d'oeuvres. You can delegate carefully. Pick, mm -hmm. your, pick your friends who are the best cooks mm -hmm. and ask them to bring something. I've actually emailed recipes, say, making, make this. Don't yeah. bring some random. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Just take a minute to think about who makes what, who's mm -hmm. good at what, and delegate it. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you can get, you know, cheeses and crackers and right. fresh fruit and some prosciutto. It is amazing what you can find at the regular grocery store yeah. that is, you know, very nice these days. Yeah, absolutely. We just, for lunch the other day, we had, we just got some cracked crab. They clean it for oh, you. Oh, how lovely. It was so delicious. That's and it's a luxury. so easy. It's a luxury, but, you know, it's in season, so it's not so expensive. Good. And it is delicious. So, so keep it simple and, and choose quality things. Right, right. I'd rather have two bites of something really delicious. I mean, I have to say, you know, a New York strip could set you back a little bit, but... You know, There's two just bites a little of that bite, and I'm yeah, good. So, piece, yeah. okay. so very, you want to taste one of these? I would love to. Okay. Why, why don't I tell our viewers that they can find the recipes for all these delicious things from Hugh Groman and Groman Catering, based yeah. in Berkeley. but GromanGroup.com. GromanGroup.com, serving the entire Bay Area. Uh, all the recipes are waiting for you on KTVU.com. I'm going to take, how about I take this back to Sal and Christina okay. so they can yeah. have a snack. It's a lot. Well. It's a lot. Maybe can you make two more cocktails for them out there as well? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll yeah, work on that. We'll be right back. I'll squeeze the lemon. You pour the thing. Okay. So, all right, this will be mine because I already put my lips on it. So, <laughs> jingle bells ring, snowing and blowing up.